Hey, it's Friday. I just got off work and I'm gonna keep to myself out here in the middle of nowhere. Back at the maxi site and an old log cabin did used to sit out here, confirmed for sure. Um, if you see my other videos, you know, I tried to look for that one that ended up being over here. So I found some things out here and um, yeah. So this site is pretty big, so it's gonna take me a while to dig it out. So you'll probably see a lot of videos out here, but man, hopefully I get an old silver or something today, we'll see. Um, so come and check it out and let's get it going. All right, see you then. Hey guys, so I just got out here and yeah, didn't even turn on my detector yet. And there's this little wash, wash out through here and it rained a lot and all this dirt washed up in here okay the home site's on that hill right here in front of me all right and then it, it goes downhill and it washes out in this this little ditch way here so anything that these people would have lost back then could be washed up in here and i always keep an eye out so i, I stepped up right here and the first thing i see is this what the heck that looks like a coin that looks like a coin for sure there's something right there too look at that piece of a buckle or something already surface finds you just freaking got here man i love it when it rains pick that up Piece of a buckle, something. Put it in the pouch. I want to see what this is. Yeah, what about you? Whoa, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. What is that? Watch it be a freak. Oh, no way. It's a freaking modern dime. Are you kidding me? Okay. Oh, 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 this might be. A, this might be. No way. There ain't no way that's silver. It's a rosy, but it's got to be clad. That's crazy. Had me all hyped up. Definitely a Roosevelt. That's not silver. That's a clad. It's crusty. Silver would have been blinging. That's so cool. Surface fine for even clad down there. Let's see what year it is. That's crazy. What is a clad dime doing out here in the middle of freaking nowhere? I mean, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. Nineteen ninety-five. Are you kidding? Well, let's see if there's anything else. Now, Big piece of crock. Square now. I mean, whoa, no way. Is that what I think it is? Oh, what? That's part of a stirrup. I am pretty dang sure that's part of a stirrup. That is part of a stirrup. I've never even found the stirrup before. That's definitely what that is. Now that is cool. And this is up the maxi cabin site. This this was probably stirrup to one of their horse tack, man. That is awesome. Dude. 
That's exactly what that is. Looks broke, but definitely broke. All right. Well, Clyde Dime horse tack stirrup. Man, I'm just surface finding it. Didn't even turn on the detector yet. Love it. Man, there could just be coins all washed up in here. Just run the detector right over this area. I always check this every time it rains. That's awesome. Freaking stirrup. My first stirrup. Service fine. Alright, guys. If I find anything else, I will let you know. Wouldn't doubt if there's an arrowhead wash up in here, too. See, look, there's my stuff. I didn't even turn on the detector yet. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm rocking the AT Max today with this Raven Predator Tool shovel. Boom. That's the gear. All right, so I just picked this up. All right, yeah, it looks like pottery, don't it? It's rock. This is freaking rock, and look. It almost looks like it was, um, could have been a, a bowl or something. But look, this is a rock, and look at the pattern on that. Dude, that's gotta be Native American pottery. And a good area for it. But it's going in the pouch. And I just totally found this right on the freaking ground. Clad dime, stirrup, and I walk right past it too. I found that clad dime, like right here. The stirrup was right down there. I turned on the detector, literally started to swing in this dirt. Because there's gotta be stuff in here, you know. It's all washed out and I found some um, plated rings right out there in front. Bunch of stuff right out over there. So I think the home actually sat like right there and there was a huge, um, barn out there log cabin sat right here probably so i found a lot of stuff that you'd find probably where how house sat so look on the ground i was like are you freaking kidding me like another coin surface find and i just freaking got here like are you kidding me i've never found a barber dime i've been wanting to find one i told my buddy before i come out here i was like i want to find an old silver well I haven't even read the whole date, but I can see, I can see 1900, but look at the patina on it. Look at the freaking patina on it. You can tell it's probably sat out here exposed to the elements for a while. I mean, it's black. That's what silver does when it's been out of the ground or in water. That's probably what it is. I mean, the ones I know the guys that dig in the water a lot. They come out kind of a black color. That's a barber dime. One dime. That is nuts. I love surface finds, man. I'm about to freaking go all through here now. That makes up for the Clyde dime, guys. 1903 barber dime surface find, baby. Yeah. I still can't believe that. Like, I seriously could find nothing else today. And be happy. First white porcelain button of the day. Yeah, I'm starting to find them every time I go out. Thanks, Alright. 
All right, guys. So, you know the drill. See anything? That might want to be one of the coolest colored marbles I found. Dude! <laughs> yeah, that's Jersey History Hunters. They say dude a lot, so shout out to them. I'm still in your word, guys. No, I'm just kidding. Check that out, though. Ain't that a cool marble? It's got, like, brown swirls in it. That is beautiful. I am not a marble expert, so please tell me more about this. Is it old? Is it, is it a collectible one? I love to find them, though. I love the clay ones. They're my favorite. This one's cool. Yeah, so um, this is this is that washout. I found that stirrup, the clad dime, and the barber dime. Chuck's back there. I just followed that ditch. See, it's still wet right there. And this is all sandy in here. I just walked through here. This is why you always check this stuff, guys, especially if it's poured and poured and poured rain. You're always going to find something. I mean, not always, but. I was going to find something else in here. It's, I mean, because if that home sat right there on a hill and this is all washed out of here, I mean, this is pretty much their front yard right here. So I'm swinging all through here. I mentioned earlier, right here, um, I was out here um, uh, back in December. I've dug this place several times. That barber was the first coin, believe it or not, out of here, and that was the surface fund. Can you believe that? That is my first barber dime ever surface find. It's crazy. I'm still pumped about that. Um, but yeah, right in here, I found a bunch of stuff that indicated that this was the front yard. So, you know, where the home actually sat, that log cabin. So, I'm gonna see what else I can find up in this sand. All right, guys, so I just got target here. It was, it was like a 50 to 51, 52. It didn't sound the greatest, so I was like, eh. It's a key. Man, that's not even... I mean, it's a... That's probably turn of the century. Maybe 1920s. 1915-ish. I was hoping for a skeleton key. That would've been cool. <laughs> Looks like it says Ford. Looks like it says Ford on there. Maybe a Model T. Hey. I don't know. I'm not a key guy. 62 on it. You might know anything about these old Ford keys? Let me know. How cool would that be if it was like from a Model T or a Model A? I don't know what type of keys I had for those. All right, let's dig it. A little tiny buckle. It's got a little bit of ornateness on it. I'm guessing like that was off of um, clothing, maybe a woman's bra strap clasp, something like that. It's gotta be something good.
Man, that could be an in that could be an Indian. It's shallow. I don't know. There it is. Oregon pup reed, it looks like. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Piano or organ pup reed. Alright, I ain't got much time, guys. I need to hurry up. Alright, guys, this one's like a 75, 77. 76. Hey, it sounds good. This sounds real good. I might be good to cherry signal I've heard all day. Something down with the lid or something down. Let's see. Well, that looks like a button. No. Button or a coin. Button or a coin. I don't guess. Ooh. Okay. But this is any hip penny. I don't know. 77, 76. That's more wheat penny range. About time I finally get a coin. Let's see. We'll find out together. Really? That's a wheat. Let's see Lincoln's dome. Yep, same. It's gotta be an old one. I'm gonna toothpick that real quick and I'll show you.